Thanks for joining us for another video. This is a report card for the Rubicon. The Rubicon features the cleaner and quicker response formula of E-Trax S20, which is a solid cover, and the mild asymmetric Rondeur core. The idea was to bridge the gap between stronger symmetric balls and typical ASIMs, or more specifically to replicate the feel of a stronger symmetric ball with a weight hole. Sometimes ASIMs can just be too much, especially on the back end, but stronger symmetrics can lack the torque necessary to help the ball get through the pins right when you start adding angle, so enter the Rubicon. The core numbers are the same as the Icon core in the idles at a 249RG and an 052 differential and 15 pounds, but with an 011 split or intermediate differential. While the total package equals plenty of strength on the back end, it's not as strong overall from a traction standpoint as something like a Proton or a UFO. When one of those is just too much ball, and something like an Axiom Idler Phase 2 is a little slow or lazy down lane, the Rubicon is the answer. It's a little too much ball for Angel overall. She might get some use out of it the first game to game and a half, but when she can use a ball like the IQ Tornado Pearl all night long, it's hard for her to justify throwing it much. For me, the Rubicon's a lot of fun, but ultimately it's too much shape most of the time. Very few ASIMs work for me on the left side. There's already plenty of shape, and I lean heavily on the IQ line in my ProMotion, which balls that keep me in the pocket and out of trouble. As we get into the winter months, the back ends typically tame down, and so I've started going to stronger balls recently, like the RSTX-1 and the Idol. While up to this point I haven't put a lot of mileage on the Rubicon, getting some more games on it and settling the cover in a bit more could make it a lot more useful and give me an extra option, but realistically it's probably still going to be too much shape for me the majority of the time. Now obviously it looks great, but big back end usually does, I'm a fan myself. However, over the course of a league set or tournament, getting to the pocket is the main objective, and the quickness of the Rubicon keeps it out of my hands most of the time. However, again, it was all over the PBA League, on the World Series of Bowling Finals, and has been a big favorite with a lot of bowlers, and I think on the right side of the lane, I'd have been throwing this one quite a bit. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.